All right, so we're back here once again, and this time we're here to discuss a rumor about this Def Jam game. Well, it ain't really a rumor, man. Pretty much, bro. Def Jam put out a tweet at the beginning of the month, and they were pretty much saying, like, the street saying that we need another Def Jam game. And I'm like, nigga, yes, we've been asking for this shit since, like, PlayStation 2 days. Like, what you mean? So, yeah, the last yeah, one that was, being uh... said, man, me and Jay, what you talking about, Def Jam Fight from New York, or you talking about that, that PlayStation 3 monstrosity that came up? Technically, that was the last Def Jam game to grace us. Was Def Jam man, Icon. look, man, look. That was the last we one. We don't, that game didn't exist. Look, it oh. had good graphics. I get that. I get that. Oh, that's right. We but don't yeah, talk. We and don't of course, exactly. And yeah, and of course, we got my <laughs> man Jay here once again. What do you, do? you know, me and my little doobie. He's probably not going to last too long. He a little roach. Yeah. But yeah, man, we're here to talk about Very the roachy. highly anticipated but still yet rumored game of the new Dev Jam coming. First and foremost, like, what city do you think it'll take place in? I, me personally, I feel like it should take place in Atlanta. Really? Why do you think that? If I had, like, it's just, just me thinking about, like, hip-hop and where is that right, just where is that right now, I feel like it, it should take place in Atlanta. And if it don't take place in Atlanta, I, I probably LA. LA. Yeah. What did it do? It's like some unorthodox ass city. Like it's still kind of like a hip hop city, but it's not like at, bro, what are they doing in Toronto? Motherfucking getting hit, <laughs> hit with the bacon, eh? With the bacon, eh? You know? You know? I heard Toronto's a. They got some got some pretty dangerous stuff going on. So they do. I mean, anything's right? possible at this point. But I, niggas I just, think I Canada really, sweet. I, I, nigga, Canada ain't sweet. I mean, they make they got syrup. So it's like, why wouldn't you think that? I mean, it, niggas, Canada dry. None. Um, nigga, shit ain't sweet. <laughs> shit. Watch Toronto. Cause niggas Colorado. getting fighting in the snow in a Pentagonias and their North faces. Cause like, bro, imagine that Miami. That was gonna be my third choice. That was gonna be my third choice. Definitely Miami. Uh, I'm trying to think of something that they can have like a cool storyline with, bro. What did they put that bitch in Wyoming? But what's in Wyoming, hip hop wise, though? Oh shit! You know what? I <laughs> Kanye picking the shitty. I feel like it got to be some, yeah, like hip hop oriented. Like, yeah, you could travel, and I feel like you should you should be able to travel to like different places. But at the same time, I feel like it should just be centered in like one city. And I don't know, maybe you gotta go. I don't know, fight somebody on the damn Vegas Strip or some junk, or fight somebody at the Hollywood Stars or some junk. I don't know, but yeah, I think it should be. Scra- I, you know what? I scratch it on I feel like it should be L.A. or Miami. You know, when you just said they gave me an idea, I feel like they might need to take the Grand Theft Auto approach until a certain extent and kind of have it like an, uh, what you call those games, open world. And yeah. you can get to, you get to, like, what are the different missions you have to go on and go into different cities? I mean, wait, I, I don't. I mean, this is a thing. It's a fighting game, though. So you ain't really doing no damn grand. I don't think they should do no grand theft auto junk. Like, but you still you gotta got have the missions and the storyline. But you got the storyline. I mean, yeah, you gotta have it. Like, of course, you get to pick like your different venues. You know how you used to pick them in the old games. You get to pick which ones you used to fight in, right? So, what if the ones you fight in be yeah. in different cities? I feel like if they coming back, they got to come back strong. Because it's been, what, over 10 years? It just came out March 27th. I mean, March 6, 2007. So it's been 13 years. <laughs> I mean, the game ain't get that bad of a score, though. It was like, you know, a good, decent 3.6 out of 5. Think you, you, just because it didn't get a good... Man, look. We, we're talking... Look, look, look. We're not talking about what the critics uh, rated. Uh, we're talking uh, about what the users rated it. Because right. critics, because critics will tell you Madden is the best sports game, and they've been dropping the same sports. 
they've been dropping the same junk, just reskinning and updating the rosters for the past. What, bro? When the last? I ain't bought a Madden game since we was in college, like first year. Yeah, your last Madden, Madden game Madden. was probably what thirteen, maybe Madden fifteen. Madden, oh, Madden fifteen. Madden fifteen. Like I for one think they should travel to multiple cities. I think that definitely should like play a part. And I do kind of vote for like the little okay. open open world like wondering type shit. If not really, then maybe have some sort of kind of like a storyline wise. So I really don't know what they'll do storyline wise. Like, cause what what was fight for New York storyline? I mean, fight for New York. That was pretty much it. Was just two rival crews. Like one of them, if you play Dev Jam Vendetta. Um, which was my Del Jam Vendetta? No, Del Jam Five. Del Jam Five New York picks up where Del Jam Vendetta left off. Um, D Mod was like the main person. He was like the main antagonist of Del Jam Vendetta. And it's like you beat his ass, and then it's like you on Del Jam Five from New York. He become like a damn mentor or some junk. So he like he he he's in the good side, and then like. The person you're going against, you're going against Snoop Dogg and his crew. Snoop Dogg name on that was Crow. And I don't know, I like the Snoop Dogg skin they had on that because they had them wearing like um that was around the time. You remember Bones had came like? Yeah. That my he had the he little does, pony he had, he was, pigtails type hairstyle. Yeah, they had him dressed, they had him dressed up like that. So yeah, that was pretty much what was going on with that one. With this one though, I don't know. Story wise, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I'll probably be on something it, like Jay Z like, versus Kanye, Jay Z's crew versus Kanye. If I do some type of story mode based on this junk with rappers, I do some junk with like I don't know. Yeah, how you thinking like Jay Z, P Diddy, Kanye West, and like Dr. Dre? Them like the the four main people, but it's like in actuality, the person that's running everything is Nick Cannon. What? <laughs> You thought them folks was gonna be the main boss, but nah, it turns out Mr. Wild and I've been running shit the whole time. It's him and the Jew. Wild and I've been running shit the whole time. But you just did feel like the way you have uh like each like regions like north, south, east, and west, and like kind of have I guess, bro. I would low key put Fifty Cent at the boss of the East Coast, Dr. Dre. I mean, as like the boss, I, I, I don't think it should. I don't, I'm just saying, I don't think it should be. I don't think it should, I don't think boss wise, it should just be limited to like you know them. I feel like with some, I feel like with some people, they should honestly be like used as cameos or some junk, or use them as like a damn mentor role or some junk, or like she look. That's what she did. That's why I want to jump into like features and all that junk because it's a bunch of stuff that you can do like. I feel like E forty should be used as like a damn Master Splinter type character. Mm. Teach you shit. You got to put your fist down, like. Mm. He can teach you like he can teach you like different fighting styles and stuff like that, which they get into like the details and stuff for it too, like how they, how they fight, how we fight. Throw so Lupe Fiasco and Kendrick Lamar in there. They definitely would get. They get martial, martial arts. arts. I would give a uh, machine MGK street fighting. Honestly speaking. Definitely give him a uh, street fight. Um, let me see. He got Lupe, Logic. I feel like Logic would definitely be on some like martial arts type shit. E40. Will we put E40 on there or will we just use him as like a storyline character? I feel like if you put the main story I... that they got to be playable because people are going to want to play with him. I mean, uh, yeah, I'll make him an unlockable. Yeah, make him an unlockable. But E40 definitely has. I'll make him an unlockable. And for some uh, reason, I feel like you got to include, like, some type of juice world scene. Uh, I don't know. Maybe juice world be like a. Make him, make him a DLC. Yeah. That's marketing right there. Make ju- okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go. Into- see, then that's the see, yeah, then that's the other part of it too. When I hate DLCs, DLCs trash. It's all part of marketing, man. 
Let's get them niggas to buy it shit. It ain't all part of marketing. It's all, it's all part of how much money we can steal from the customer, even though back in the day we used to drop full games back when folks ain't have access to the internet. But now everybody, well, damn near everybody, has access to the internet. So why not make them pay for extra shit? Or let's drop a half-ass game and fix it on the process while we're making another game for the following year. Hey, man, like... Capitalism. Uh, I hate, yeah. I hate, man, I hate... I, yeah, it's trash. It's trash. I, uh, All right, so who are a few trash, artists man. you will want to see on the new one? Few, okay, we just said, who you said? Who you said? Kanye. Who you said? Kanye, Jay-Z. Uh, Let's see 50 on there. Uh, we're gonna. We said, man, who the guy? I said E forty, E forty, Drake. I've picked MGK, Kendrick, uh, maybe Lupe. I don't, I don't think I don't know how highly that is. Uh, Logic because he was part of Big Crit. Um, would we throw? Would you want to throw Ti in there? Was Ti on the other one? Who was it? Yeah, I think he was on the. Thank you. Yeah, he was on Dev Jam My Gun, if I'm not mistaken. Definitely throw T.I. on there. Hmm. We already said 50 Cent. We said P. Diddy? What the fuck P. Diddy will you do? Hey, look, bro, look. I, why are you playing P. Diddy? He can replace Nick Cannon as the final boss. Shit, I believe it. I'll take that goddamn I, over Nick Cannon. Okay, Calvin say Nick Cannon be a damn twist, which I'm finna say this. Also, the roster is not only dedicated to just rappers. It's people do more than just rap, like the people that they had on the damn thing. Def Jam Vendetta had like a bunch of characters that they created, but Def Jam Fight from New York, every character on there, if I'm not mistaken, was a real life character. Like it's just, like Flavor Flav was on there. Flavor Flav wasn't rapping, he was just a hype man. He's part of hip hop though. Got the dude, uh, the dude from Def Jam New York, uh, Crazy Legs, real damn breakdancer. Hmm. So more than you had Kamor, you had Kamor Lee, you had now Lauren Hill. Why? Why Lauren Hill? Man, come on, man. Lauren Hill been itching to give somebody these hands for years, man. Give my girl her just due. She been itching, hey, man. I mean, look, I ain't. All right, so Lauren. Look, I ain't got nothing against. And plus, one thing with Dev Jam, I'm not quite sure. I know somebody better pretty much fact check me, but I'm gonna go ahead and say she. They used to be signed to Dev Jam as well. So her. I mean, she. Yeah, that's the other part about making the list too. Like, and I don't think it should be Dev Jam exclusive. Like, yeah, it's called Dev Jam, but still, like, that's just going off. Based yeah, off yeah, yeah. Man. Nah, no Dev Jam exclusive, but you still. I don't think have. She- Def Jam artists on there. I think that'd be a little bit weird. Yeah. But then again, we don't really know who all that we naming who might be associated or affiliated with Def Jam. Because Def Jam got like little kid companies too, or like nothing else, a kid company, like look record labels under them that like hold yeah. host and hold these artists. I, so shit, we don't know who the fuck we talking about. I mean, so my thing now is like, who would you so my thing now is far as the character list, do you go what, how would you ratio the male to female fighters? I'd probably put about a good six to eight females in the game. About a good six to oh, eight. Hell, how many do, how many males then? Shit, they gonna get our number, bro. That's what I'm saying. Nah, nah hell no. Nah. I feel like, bro, how I, many? I, feel like if you, I feel like we how many, all right, so how many relevant female artists could you put in that game? Name me more than 10, because the most I can give you is eight. Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B. Um, for some reason, I'm going to say Angie Martinez. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. As a playable character? Yeah. The radio host? Uh, or the hey, look, they, hey, look, you... Did you play Def Jam Fight for New York? I'm saying. Did you play that? Like, like, honestly, I feel like, like, honestly, I feel like Charlemagne should be in the game too. 
That would be funny. Or even Joe Budden. That would be funny. Like that's what I'm saying. Like they just like like Def Jam fight from New York. It wasn't just rappers. It wasn't like it was just people associated with hip hop in some type of way. You just had to be relevant in your field. I'll throw Angie up there at the wish list. If anyone, I'll put uh Angela Yee. Yee. I was thinking her too. If you're gonna say the breakfast uh, club, I might as well throw all three of them in there. DJ Envy, yeah, Angela McGee, and Charlotte McGee. <laughs> she got some name on this motherfucker. All right, so, but continue to list the women. You only you stopped at Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, Megan. That's only three. And I guess Angela, Angela one of the Angies. and he's an Angie Martinez, but I'm replacing that with. Fine, Angela Martinez and Angela Yee. Like Yee. Angela McGee. Charlotte McGee. What about the, um, some of the newer females like Mulatto? Swati. Uh Flo Millie. Flo Millie shit, bitch. Uh yeah. I don't Flo that would, bro, that would be a big look for her. I don't know if she's like big enough for that yet, but that would be a good look for her. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind no. putting her on there though. I definitely what, wouldn't mind. I put Remy Ma on there. You got to put Remy Ma on there. I vote Lauren Hill still. So that's about seven or no. We're about about eight right now. Okay. So, uh, two more. I feel. I feel like we can come up. I feel like. I feel like we can come up. Yeah, I feel like we can come up with five two. I was thinking Rhapsody too. I'm you got Rhapsody, Rhapsody too. in man. If Rhapsody not on there, I'll be mad. Rap City for sure. Uh, uh Beyonce. I ah, fuck it. Rihanna. Mm, I feel like both of them should be like unlockable Rihanna. characters. Yeah. Like you gotta include like the two most I ain't gonna say most yeah, you gotta include like two of the most iconic women in black music history. You got to. And still relevant today. Are we throwing any white people on there? Yes. Like, why not? Come on. Okay. But I don't know who. I ain't throwing Miley Cyrus in. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Why you playing? It was. She, was, she was on the brain. She was definitely on the brain. I, like, I, already, I, already, knew, I already knew you were finna say. Then, then, then who you gonna say? Who? Iggy is that? Oh God, nah, but that would be a nice little surprise, bitch. Ugh. Like Madonna. Throw something like Madonna on that motherfucker. <laughs> Madonna come in whooping niggas ass. That's crazy. But uh I don't shit. I can't I'm really yeah, I can't, I can't really thank nobody for it. I got Ari. I feel like Ari will be on there. Oh man, I'll finna say, yeah, we can always include we can always include the R and B folks too, because I Lord, no, I'm gonna throw Chris Brown on there too. Yeah, definitely have to throw Chris Brown. Rick Ross, did we say Rick Ross? I'm definitely throw Chris Brown on there. Chris Brown, Rick Ross. I think Ross. we said Rick Ross. Tiger? Rick Ross will replace Fat Joe from Fight from New York. Definitely have Rick Ross on there. Um, and then the way I had a story mode set up for it, like the characters, like I feel like you should be able to create your own character and go through the story mode. Make I bet him, I, I, I'm with. He, he, yeah. I'm definitely with, but can you could do that before? Can't you? You can do it. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. Like before, like Vendetta and Fight from New York. Yeah, right? yeah. I thought so. You can do that in Fight from New York. Vendetta, they just let you pick between three characters, three created people, and you just play the story. Once you figure out your main characters, everything is gonna like fall into place. It's just the features that I'm worried about because it's like with Del Jam Fight from New York, they gave you so much. Like you can go, like you can go to like, you remember the dude, um, like Dane Brand Jewelers. You remember the dude that, uh, what, what was the Dane Brand Jeweler from back in the day? What was his name? Um, John Jacob Nick? the Jeweler. Oh, Jacob the Jeweler. Oh shit. No, Who's Jacob this? the Jeweler. Yeah, Jacob. He's still relevant. No, Jacob the Jeweler. He was, uh, he was on Dev Jam. No, he was on Dev Jam Fight from New York. Like I feel oh. like he should be like name. That's what I'm saying. Like when I'm talking about features, like they're like attention to detail. Oh, 
So in here, so <laughs> like that part would be. So that's what I'm saying. Like, cause it's kind of like it's so hard not to pay attention to all that type of stuff. Like, of course you're gonna have to put like designers like Gucci. I mean, yeah, Gucci, but Dior, at the Dior. same, at the same, you know what I'm saying, yeah, but at the same time, but Eric, you got some game people that's not going, you got some game companies that's not gonna pay attention to detail like that. So that's why I'm, you gotta include that. Like, you gotta mention that, cause it ain't people ain't gonna think about it. That shit, like, that's what that. made Fight from New York, like, that's what made Fight from New York so relevant and so, yeah, just felt so real. Like, that's what made niggas want to come back because it was just so much, like, you know what I'm saying, attention to detail that they had. And what I said, like, name brand jewelers, got to have Johnny Dane or Ben Baller. I vote for Johnny Dane. Or Ben Baller. Or the guy that uh, be selling them sneakers. Ben, no, yeah, it's, it's Ben Baller, the sneaker guy. I think it is Ben Baller. But yeah, that's like, like, but that stuff would be like br- Harold's hot chicken. Man, you'll be surprised. They... Roscoe's chicken and waffles. Who? Hot chick Harold's what, hot chicken. For, for substance, I mean, for substance, mm-hmm. what, for, for like just to have somewhere to stop and eat it. Are you playing not turn into a fighting of uh, two chains? Hmm? He is definitely a playable character. But yeah, I would think about 2 Chain Trap House, his Trap House Museum. That would be a cool thing to incorporate. Just as a side note. What, fighting in front of the pink trap house? You could. Or it'd just be in that motherfucker in the background. Either way, I'd be cool with that. Let's talk about the actual play. Like, the controls for it. How would you, like, want the controls to be? Would you think everything would be based on the stick? I want the... I... You think it'd be more combo based? I want the game. If if, if any, if anything, if, I, if anything, I don't think you need to be like how Dev Jam Icon was. They were trying to be all real and junk. Like they were trying to do everything all real life and junk. But it, it, it junk ain't work out in the gameplay. It just felt slow as hell. So with that being said, I mean you can look to like the two K WWE games how they be fighting on now. But me, I say just go back to like the old school junk, like just make it wacky, just make it fun and wacky. Like it ain't even gotta be like based on realism. Like I wanna see like some I just wanna see like some throw it off finishers, like you know, you had man, you had crazy legs on on what's the name? Like bro, you had Sean Paul on that mug. Doing I remember front saying. flips and all that junk, bro. Like he was, he was ridiculous. Like, he, you know what I'm saying? Like he ain't got to be real. Like just, just make it fun and just pay attention to details, and graphics and stuff. I feel like the graphics are gonna come with it. Gameplay wise, just yeah. Definitely take a page out of more. Ain't Kombat gotta book. be everything. Yeah. I say take a page out of more. Just a little bit, not too much. How though? How would you like? How would you incorporate that into a game like this? With the goreness of it, bro. You uppercut a nigga. You see his two fly out. You do you not know how hard that'll be? Just like a slow motion, boom. And you just see the two fly out. I feel like I feel like it'll make. I feel like it'll work. You just that's it'll what I'm saying. Like, are we much. fighting? Are we, are we fighting? Are we fighting like two D? Or are we fighting like? How he was on wrestling, like you got a ring and shit. Like how we fight. Mm. You know what I'm I feel like it'd be better if you just set it up like how wrestling is instead of doing it back doing that junk. I mean, but you still can do that though, even with the like moving around the ring, like that type of play. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, but you do it like Mortal Kombat, and yeah, you do this on like Mortal Kombat. You just you kind of. I meant more yeah, so on like the brutality baby. side, like the actual violence of it. Oh, like, you trying to? Oh, uh, yes. I want this bitch to be brutal. I, mean, I want this game to be brutal. Rated M for mature. I want to create celebrity death match. Not ripping niggas head off now. We ain't gonna do all that, but you know, you know, fuck a nigga up. Hey, look, that's what that what this look. That what you making this? That what this sound like? You punch him. Let that scar show. What? That, damn. Like as the oh, no, Dev, I mean, but that, but Dev Jam fight, but Dev Jam fight from New York was like that too, though, because like exactly, you, yeah, it was rated, it was rated M, exactly. and then like fight from New York, they had you on them mug, uh, like 
you, you can throw folks in the trains and junks. Like, oh, Keep that was a fun that. mission. And then throw somebody, out, you throw somebody into the fire and junk, and you throw somebody out of a through Snoop Dogg out of a building. Keep the brutalness, yeah. Without well, fatalities, but finishers. Right. Okay. Yeah, I say, yeah, do it like that, but just keep the gameplay more rational and stuff. Like, yeah, we want to see more x-rays and stuff like that, but as far as just gameplay and movement, make it, like, rational. Don't make it too tight and shit, like, you know. Nah, martial arts. So, martial arty. You don't want niggas kicking niggas? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, martial arts is going to be a fight style. Just make it just make it fun. Like, don't make it too too damn technical. Like, this man yeah. don't want to work for his controller, man. He just want to press two buttons and they just go. Nah, they're going to make you hit them combos. I mean, nah, like, you I mean it. no, that's the thing. If we, if you, that's the thing, though, you set it up, that's the thing. It depends. Like, if you set it up like Mortal Kombat, boom, you can't do the combos. You set it up like, rationally, you ain't going to be able to do all that. You're not. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna be. A I can just. I'm, I'm gonna run around the ring. I'm gonna jump off some, and yeah, like you, you. I'm not. I'm not even gonna give you the chance to land a combo. That might gonna be more grappling than anything. I mean, you can throw pressures in the in the regular 2K wrestling games, but all right. What about UFC? All the like that stuff. That's grappling. That's what I'm saying. Like, what about UFC? I ain't got be no. I ain't got. It ain't no. I don't want it to be that. But they can run around the I ring. I don't want them to be that unless you. I mean, they can run around the ring, but not as freely like how the wrestling games is. How freely you want these niggas to be? It seems the same to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, no, it, it's really not. Because if you look at that game, if you look at that gameplay and how that junk set up is tight versus how a WWE wrestling game is, it's not. It's loose. You can run out the ring, you can go and pick shit up. Versus what's the name? You literally stuck. Like if this person moves this way, the camera's gonna move this way, and it's gonna force you to move this way with them. That's oh, you, you that. just want to be able to run around and pick. It's not free. That's what I'm saying. Like I want, I want freedom to be able to like, if we like, you know what I'm saying, if this is based on like what Fight for New York was, and you trying to like make some similar, some junk fun like that. Why well, make a technical ass game like UFC? Just go buy UFC and create. Yo, rappers. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, that, that, cause yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like with games today, no more, like, they don't be fun for real no more. They just be, like, niggas just trying to make money. Like, all the fun games on PlayStation 2. You missed all the goofy ass games. You need that, bro. You need that because everything now is too serious, and then like, like people be missing the point. Like, I mean, yeah, you got the single player games nowadays that's good, but when last time you seen the like a, just a live multiplayer game or a live multiplayer fighting game at least something different? Like, I feel like they could. That's what I'm saying. That's why we doing this. I feel like they can expand on this so much more than you know. You seen what they did with the PlayStation 2. Imagine what they can do with the PlayStation 5. Mm. I feel like they be limiting they like I be feel like they be limiting themselves. They definitely be like trying so to cheat out on the yeah. process. Yeah, hey, yeah, that's why they that's why they'll be like, oh, okay, this is cool. We'll drop an update, you know. We'll fix it. Should have been fixed before the game came up. Should have been fixed. I feel like you should have interactive backgrounds like in your venues, like how Mortal Kombat got. Like if I see this piece of wood or some junk in the background, I should be able to hit you with it. Or if we fighting with like a group of people, they should be able to like give me a weapon. Oh, you got a bottle, you just you just got done drinking beer. I should be able to grab that bottle from you and hit this man over the head with it. Now you talk about me, like you trying to get brutal. But yeah, that bro, actually will be live. Bro, I want this, like, you know what I'm saying? It gotta be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's some street fighting junk. Like, it gotta be like, you know. So if y'all in the ring, gotta be like, and you fighting your bro, opponent. Gotta be, bro, it's gotta be like, the, if the crowd throw me some junk or they hand me this, I turn around, snatch it, and grab it. I should be able to hit this man over the head with it. So you want to be able to go from the ring to the crowd and still fight. 
He ain't even got to be the ring. Think about how Def Jam fight from New York was with the crowds. and uh, That's why you got different venues. All venues ain't the same. I see, I see. Like, this venue right here can be set up like a wrestling ring. This venue over here can be set up like some fight club shit. Just but have, still just, just have two right people now. in the middle. Just, yeah, you, you got to. Yeah, you got to. Bro, use your technology. Use it. Use the technology. That's what I'm saying. If I'm fighting in the middle of a crowd, I should be able to throw throw my man into the crowd and they throw him back. And I, I don't know, uppercut him or I F you him or something. I should be able to do that. I should, like, yeah, that, use this technology. Y'all got it. If y'all did, if y'all pull this off on the PlayStation 2, there's no reason why y'all, I don't, yeah, there's no reason y'all can't pull this shit off on the PlayStation 5. It's so many ways. There's no reason. You got to put it in the right hands of the people. It's like, you know what I'm saying? The same people that, the same studio that made Def Jam Fight for New York, these are the same studio that made, like, in the, the games that people want, like an NFL street or NBA street. Like, shit like that was fun. We don't get that no more. Niggas don't nobody play that no more, but I'm just playing. You can only get, like, so realistic. And then Madden, they get to the point where it's like they take stuff from the game this year and they'll add it back. Next. Like Madden just running out of ideas because they incorporating stuff on their games and stuff where it's like, okay, y'all did this on PlayStation 2. Y'all should have been incorporating this. Why did y'all take it away in the better. first place? Dang. The stiff arm was never – I ain't going to say it was – I ain't going to say it was never bad, but okay, you got a point. But still <laughs> – but yeah, I but see still. what you're saying, though. I agree. I definitely think it should be more interactive with the gameplay, and then have, of course, the different videos yeah. to interact with. Jump off somebody's yeah. shoulders like, on the top. You should of be able to... Matter of yeah. fact, somebody need to help like, me I should be able... off. I like that. Yeah. See, like you then, like you had then, like on Dev Jam Fight from New York, you had a venue on that called the Terror Dome. Man, you. It's a it's like you you fighting in the damn pit. You fighting in the pit on that mug. And it's a crowd of people like on top of the pit watching you fighting junk. And in the middle of that mug, you got like cinder blocks and in a bunch of others. Like you just jumping off them, hitting people with them. Oh yeah, you gotta yeah, put more into the to the games and junks. Like, I don't know. I, I feel like I sound like an old head when it comes to this junk, but still. Nigga sound like Ken. But now nah, though. So we're going to find out. We're going to see. We're going to see. It's still a rumor. Nothing's been confirmed. You know, Dev Jam out here playing games, out here liking tweets and sharing tweets. But we're going to see what side that was popping. When you think he's going to come out? No. Next year? 2021? 2022? 2022. 2022. I don't know why I think 2022, but I just 2022 just sounds if it's- great. Like confirmed but not confirmed, like as in they already started production on the game, then I feel like they probably gonna drop it next yeah. November 2021. November 2021 is my prediction. I just I just hope down, I just hope down like just limited to just Dev Jam artists. Like I feel like it should be I feel like it should go out to anybody and then it's like the other part of it too. Y'all gotta pay these people, man. The gaming industry don't like to pay. Don't like to pay his uh, actors, but at the same time, it's like that, uh, I understand it because it's so much, uh, it's so much money and time that go into the actual production of the game. That will probably be the only reason that will halt that game. It's like money and getting clearance from to use these people likeness and shit. Joe Bun was just talking about how they use this, uh, they use his name and stuff without permission for Dev Jam Vendetta. I remember, De- yeah. Oh wow! So see, like shit, like I remember that. Joe Budden being on Def Jam Vendetta. Oh yeah, I remember him too. I used to love playing with Joe. He had the hood. He had the little red hoodie on and shit. Camo, <laughs> but yeah, though, like, cause these rappers, they gonna want to get the paid. They definitely gonna want to get paid. And if they find out they getting their likeness used without their permission, is gonna definitely cause some problems. I feel yeah, but the, the thing about it, I don't know. Well, I ain't I don't know. I ain't one of them people that like to, you know, I don't know. 
far as like them getting paid, I feel like they should don't just take whatever, but at the same time be reasonable and understand the process that these folks got to go through. They can't just give you no big ass bag off this joint. Know, Cause I don't know, it's All like new generation of rappers. It's like the people that actually make the game don't be. It seems like they don't be getting compensated for it for real. They don't be the gaming industry is a billion so, dollar yeah, industry, that sucks. and these gaming developers ain't really getting paid what they deserve. That's what's crazy. So them like the only problems that I can really see shutting this whole thing down for real. Same. Other than that, other than that, like it just, yeah. This game might be one of the greatest yeah, fighting I, I games like to ever I grace like us. I, I, to me, Dev Jam Fight from New York, dude, is one of the greatest fighting games to ever come out to me. Like, it's top five, one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Or it's, uh, it's top five wrestling games of all time to me. So we classifying this as a wrestling game. We we compare this to a that's, Tekken. That's a, uh, man. So that means we can't really compare it to a Tekken. Not for real. But I feel like I mean, yeah, I feel like the I feel like I feel like I feel like the way this I feel like the way that the game play and the way that the set up, I feel like this would be more comparable to a wrestling game. I mean, shit, with the features you just described, hell yeah, it'll be a wrestling game. That's what I'm saying. And then I'm learning, too. Then I'm learning, too. The same people that made the first two Def Jams, they the ones that was making them wrestling games on, like, PlayStation. Um, Not PlayStation, but, uh, like, what that shit called? Nintendo 64? Like, like WrestleMania WWE? 2000. Uh, WCW versus NWO. Like, them people. Them old, them old games. The ones you gotta. <laughs> so it's definitely if those are the people that's coming back for this one, it'll be more like a wrestling game for sure. Then. Yeah, but I don't know if they're the ones that'll come back. Yeah, that's the thing. Like it's, we're just going on speculation. We don't know who's developing this joint. That's what this video is going off a of Def Jam too. I don't know what I'm saying. We don't know. That's what I'm saying though. Like. It, we, we just speculating at this point. We don't know who's doing what. All like, these ideas are not confirmed. These are from our imaginations. Disclaimer. Yeah. But so with that being said, like, but with that being said, I, I feel like they should do it or like let. I don't. You remember who used to make the, the uh like the the SmackDown versus Raw games? Them used I think to be my THQ shit. used to make them. Mm-hmm. Shoot, get them to make it. Get them to make it. Bring your hands was fun. Was raw. 06, 07, 08. That was one of the greatest runs ever. It was. It was. I think my favorite one out of them was 08. They had they ECW on uh Yeah, they first brought ECW. I used to love the game. Hold on. Um, what do you think it's going to be called? That's a good ass question. I ain't even gonna lie. I like the little meme junk they were sharing. The Def Jam Massacre junk. I, I, I don't know why I like that the way that sounds. Def Jam Battle Royale. That would be nice. Def, that, that Fortnite sounding ass title? Bruh, Battle Royale was way was here that, way before that kid, Fortnite, that, bro. That kid, that kid friendly ass title? Def Jam. Olympus. Mount Olympus. No, we gotta make. No, man, we gotta make. The, we gotta make the Karens not want to buy this buy this product for their children. Shit, they not gonna want to see it when they see all them niggas on the cover. Exactly, like, oh, God, we gonna make John. the kids want it even more. We gonna make the kids want it even shit. more. Shit, they gonna walk past Walmart, see them shit. Oh no, little Johnny. But title wise, though, if you, yeah, I, I just say we should you, we should leave that to the audience. Massacre. Let us know yeah. what you think, guys, in the in the comment section. What you think the new title for the new Def Jam going to be? And also, please be sure to leave suggestions as far as like different ideas or different things or artists, sounds or anything that you guys think that we should react to or make some type of 
video to like how we doing now. Also, if you enjoying the discussions on like gaming content, but thinking about doing the Twitch channel. Trying to get back more into my roots. But yeah, let me know how y'all feeling about this in the comment section. Let me know if y'all enjoying the content. I'll do more videos like this at some point. But yeah, man, this is T Shine Now once again. Man, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is me and Jay. You know what I'm saying? The Dreadhead Wonder, aka Drum. We signing out. Thank you guys for watching this video once again. I know I didn't say it a lot, but peace. Peace.